Yes. Yes. Uh, breathe energy down from heaven. Let it collect in your gut. And you'll start to feel human again. And I'll tell you what. The Maharal in his lifetime was totally misunderstood. The mass of the Jews went against him, even people in his own hood. Now, hundreds of years later, we know that the Maharal was the man. Even the Litvish Jews hold by him the most normal part of our clan. In this week's Parsha, we talk about the breastplate of judgment, something mystical where the high Cohen wore stones. This doesn't make sense to our modern mind the same way it's confusing that sexual purity strengthens our bones. The mystical reality is beyond our ordinary mental grasp. But it doesn't mean that contemplating it has to leave us aghast. Everyone should know that Talmud Hacham Shash Cohen, who's got a mind beyond the norm, he's nicknamed Shas because he seems to have the entire Jewish canon in his brain. His mind's not caught up in the internet storm. Nadav and Avihu had stormy, over-the-top ways of approaching God. And even God decided it was odd and ended their life. So when we're involved with the mystical quest, we have to be normal enough or else we can start to go crazy and lose our stuff. The Maharal said that angels control nature so there's no real difference between the mystical and the norm. It's a deep conversation. I just entered that sugya this Shabbat in Givat Shul past. I'd love to get into it with you. The Maharal is something that's to me always fresh. Before we leave our house every morning, we can lay down fully on the ground to submit ourselves to God. My rhymes aren't quite so fresh. I just decided I needed to hit you in a new way because most people seem blocked to let in new thought today. When I talk to people on video or live, I can see their programming doesn't with my current thought jive. So I'm trying to circumvent your normal program with some rhymes to put you back into your childlike state from the old times when your parents used to read to you Dr. Seuss and the like and maybe you weren't so blocked up and holding on to what you thought was right. There's three kinds of people I was just contemplating today. The most boring kind to talk to is the ones who think they already totally know the way. Then there's people that are so clueless that even if they're curious, it's hard to know where to start. But then the third is really the kind that might be able to accept my art. The kind who 
know a little bit so they have some sort of context and they're voracious and curious to really start to study what's important for them next. Last week, I went in search of somebody incredibly special and I didn't find him, but I met one of his students, which gave me an idea of the greatness. And his student's mind was so fresh and curious, voracious to know what I knew, even though he was far more studied through and through. He had a beginner's mind, like we say in Zen, curious to learn. And that's the kind of friends I want to find whose minds similarly burn. This is not really rap, it's more Shakespearean, iambic pentameter flows. And I appreciate you giving me your attention. Let's see where this goes. So to everyone who's listening, you should have a good day or a good night. And please, let's all help each other and pray for each other to do what's most right.